Now that you have a better understanding of the Navigator and the different views offered by Lightroom, let's continue exploring the other parts of the library interface. Under the Catalog panel, now if you don't see the Catalog panel, just right click over here and make sure you have a check mark next to each one of these panel headings. You can contract and expand the Catalog panel by clicking this arrow. Under the Catalog panel, you can see that we currently have 95 photos in this catalog. That's what All Photographs means. Additionally, under the All Photos heading, we also have Quick Collection. In this lecture, we'll explore how to add images to a Quick Collection. You can think of a Quick Collection as a virtual folder specific to Lightroom that stores images that you specify in your catalog. The types of images you can store in a quick collection are really up to you. It can be anything. Say for example, we wanted to transfer all the images of cars to our quick collection. Well, we can easily do that by clicking on the car images. Now I won't click on each one. We'll just do a couple for this example. So I've selected two pictures of cars. Now when I press the B key on my keyboard, you'll notice that two items have been added to the Quick Collection. Now if we open the Quick Collection, you can see that the two images I'd selected are now in the Quick Collection. Now I'll go back to All Photographs. To remove these images from the Quick Collection, I can make sure that they're selected, so 29 and 51, and press the B key again. That removes them from the Quick Collection, and our Quick Collection is now back at zero images. I'll press B again, and I just wanted to point both of these images. Okay, that icon tells us that these images belong to the Quick Collection. Top right corner. And you can see that because both images were highlighted, both images are now removed from the Quick Collection.